Hello, this is Dr. Dave Gatros, and today's subject is Hamming codes or error correcting codes. Um, Hamming codes are a family of what we call linear error correcting codes. Uh, they, the Hamming codes, can detect up to 2 bit errors and correct 1 bit errors without detection of uncorrected errors. Whereas just a simple parity bit can only detect an error but cannot correct them. Hamming codes are what's called perfect codes, that is, they achieve the highest possible rate for codes with their block length and a minimum distance of three. Hamming distance is another subject for another video. Richard Hamming, Richard Wesley Hamming, while at Bell Laboratories, invented Hamming codes in the 1950s as a way of automatically correcting error introduced by punched card readers. Now, in his original paper, Hamming elaborated his general idea, but specifically focused on the Hamming 7-4 code, which means we add three parity bits to four data bits, which is what I'm going to show you today. So this is an example of a 7-4 Hamming code. And this is how you do it. The first thing you do is you number the bits from 1 to 7. Now, I've done it from both left to right and right to left. Hamming himself actually did it from right to left, which is what we have right here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, you'll notice that I have the numbers 1, 2, and 4 uh, circled in red. These are what we call the check bits or the parity bits. Uh, the data bits will actually go into 7, 6, 5, and 3. Okay. Uh, so the code where we want to sit will be in these bits right here. The check bits will be in those and we'll calculate those later. Now um, I'm going to explain the general rule of exactly how this works. So I'm going to bring another piece of paper over here. Here are the uh, 4-bit sequences here from 0 to 15 and we can see that when we you do the check bits uh, the first bit the one bit uh, checks the uh, the number 1 the 2 uh, the uh, uh, any odd number 1 uh, 3 uh, 5 uh, 7 any odd number the one bit checks the 2 checks uh, these bits right here the 3 bit checks these and the 4-bit checks those. So what we have is we have an overlap. The bit itself, uh, the parity bits themselves, check themselves and at least a couple of other um, uh, binary numbers. So this overlap is how we're able to use the Hamming code to determine if something is an error and if it is an error, which bit it actually is. Well, how does it work? All right. Well, let's say that we want to uh, encode the number 10, the decimal number 10 in base 10. In binary, that is a 1010 zero, one zero in base 2. Okay, so let's encode that. So we're going to start over here and we're going to put in 1 0 1 0. So there's our data that we want to send. I'll put little slashes through here to make sure we don't confuse them with uh, O's. All right. So now we observe that there is a 1 in the 7 position. So I'll put a 1, 1, 1. That's the binary uh, value for 7. And there is a 1 in the 5 bit, 1, 0, 1. And now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do what's called an index ORD or a modulo 2 arithmetic, as Hamming himself used to like to call it. Essentially, it works like this. Okay, look at the columns over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to observe any column that has an even or odd number of bits. If it's an even number of bit, I put a 0 down here. If it's an odd number of bits, I put a 1. There's an even number of bits. This becomes our code word that we're going to send. So we put the 0 over there. That corresponds to this position. Put the 1 under the 2 column. This, this position right here. A 0. And then another 0. Now, when this code word is sent, what's going to happen is it's going to look at the uh, at the other end where all of the bits are sent. is going to do the same kind of procedure on the other end. It's going to look where all the ones are. And it's going to build a table of them, or it's going to actually it's done in the hardware, and it's going to do the ex exclusive word, uh, indexed exclusive word, or modulo arithmetic. There's an even number of ones in there so that's a zero there's an even number in here that's a zero and there's an even number in there if all zeros come out the code word was accurate now then let's uh, show you how it uh, uh, detects errors 
so let's pick a bit let's pick a bit any bit at all which bit do you want ah somebody said uh, they want the six very good so what we're going to do is we're going to scratch this one out and we're going to say let's assume there's an error and that that bit was changed all right so now then let's generate that code word on the other end so we're going to do a one and we're going to do a six or five and now a two and we're going to do our uh, uh, indexed exclusive word which means that I'm going to look at the uh, even number odd number so that's a that's an even number that's a zero this is an odd number so that's a one this is an odd number so that's a one so it is not zero well if it's not zero then we know there's an error and the error is indicated by the bit pattern that's right here. What is that representative in uh, decimal? Well, we know that that is 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2. That is 0. That is 2. And that is 4. We add those all together. And it is 6. And indeed, that is the bit that we changed, the 6 bit. And that is how Hamming code works. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I uh, look forward to doing a, another lesson in computer organization for you.